Hello everyone. Um, a lot has happened in our nation since last uh, I spoke to all of you. Uh, a lot of <clears throat> civil unrest and protesting and just a lot of uh, really horrible things have happened. Um, namely the, the terrible murder of George Floyd. Um, and we're all experiencing this and watching it on television and on the internet, etc. Um, it all brings me back to an important theological issue about racism that as Christians, it seems to me Jesus clearly taught and revealed that God does not show partiality to individuals that before God we are all on equal ground no matter our skin colors, our sexual orientations, or our socioeconomic status, or any of those sorts of things, that really there is no reason in any of our minds to think that we are somehow superior uh, to another person or, or inferior to them, uh, that God sees us all as equals. And I'm always reminded of something that the Apostle Peter said in the book of Acts, the 10th chapter, where this young church is coming to grips with this new thing that God was doing, this whole new uh, faithful community that was drawing uh, people together from different uh, religious backgrounds and, and races and all sorts of economic conditions. And they didn't know what to do with it because they, 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 it was not as unanimous and, and as homogeneous as it once had been. And that's when Peter spoke up and he said, well, this is what's making sense to me now. He said, I truly understand that God does not show partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears God and who does what is right is acceptable in the sight of the Lord. Now that's not hugely theological, theologically deep in terms of talking about racism, but it's, it's a peek into this new understanding that, that Peter and, the, and those disciples were having. And you can find other places in the scripture that clearly show us that we are all on uh, equal ground, we're all equal in the sight of God, and that there's absolutely no place for any kind of racism, bigotry, prejudice, etc., etc. If we're truly followers of Christ, then that stuff needs to be purged out of us, all of us. We all need to own it and fess up to the fact that there's there's some of that in, in most all of us. So my prayer is that uh, we'll all be doing that. And in the meantime, it's, it's heartening to see our young people out in the streets protesting peacefully. It was, uh, it was just a real blessing for me to see photos and, and video footage of the, uh, the, the protest here in Lakewood last night that was so peaceful and where the, where the police force joined the protesters in, in walking and kneeling down in the streets. It just was enough to bring tears to your eyes. So change is coming to this nation, although it's difficult and painful and, and violent at times. But, but pray, that, uh, pray that God's will will be done and that all of us will be faithful to that task. So in the meantime, I wish you God's blessing and God's grace and peace. See you next week.